This will be a walkthrough for the Groovy Space Girl, a rigged character for Blender and Unity. We'll discuss some steps and details to get your model up and running. You'll receive two zip files with your purchase. One will be a Blender zip file and the other will be a Unity zip file. Inside the Unity zip file, you'll see a Unity package, which you can use to import the Groovy Space Girl into your project. Inside the Blender zip, you'll have a Blender folder and an Extras folder. Inside the Extras, you'll have the FBX files of the two weapons and the character, as well as OBJ files and STL files of the character in three different outfits and STL files of the two weapons. Please note that the FBX file for the character has a full rig, but no textures applied. The textures did come with your purchase, so you have to reattach those manually. The OBJ file has no rig, and the textures will also have to be reattached manually. And finally, the STL files don't have any rig or any textures. These two files here, this Python and zip file, these are the add-ons that you need to install to use all the features for these rigs. The Blender folder has your main Blender files. So there's one with a graphical user interface picker to make picking the bones easier. And one does not have it, so pick the one you like. I love the, the picker. And here we have the textures folder. It has all the textures for your character. And when you install this on your computer, make sure you put the Blender files in the same location as the textures folder. So this way, Blender will be able to associate these textures with these Blender files. Here's some basic setup to use all the features for the rig. For reference, I am using Blender 3.21. Okay, let's go to Edit, Preferences, and Add-ons, and click Install, and navigate to where you saved that, uh, that Python file and the zip file. Click on Proxy Picker to use the GUI. Click Install Add-on, and Click on that to enable it. Then click on install again. So click on the rig tools zip here. This character was made with the paid plugin called AutoRig Pro. And so they made a mini plugin so you can use all the features of rigs made with that plugin. If you want to use all the advanced features of this rig, make sure you install this also. Click install and enable that here. The last thing we need to do, install pose library, type in pose, and I already had it installed, but you want to click that so it's installed, and then you are good to go. Okay, let's open this up and see what we get. Click open, and go to your Blender files and pick the one you want. I'll pick the one with the GUI. Click open, and the textures should all be applied automatically. If this is all pink, it means that Blender lost the textures. So, Go to File, External Data, Find Missing Files, and then navigate to the Textures folder that came with your purchase and click Find Missing Files, and that'll reattach all of the textures. So on the right, we have the character, the Groovy Space Girl, and all of her funkiness. And on the left, we have the GUI Picker. For the GUI Picker, just make sure you hold shift and middle mouse to drag around if you want to pan around and scroll in and out. If you don't hold shift, you'll change the view. You can go back by hitting number, number pad zero or by hitting this little camera. Go to pose mode here and let's turn on our overlays for this window so we can see the rig. So you can click this. If you want to move the head, you can click this and hit R twice to move the head around. Or you can go over here and click this and hit R twice to move the head around. So there's two ways of picking it. This is kind of nice. It's easy to move things around. Um, if you want to move the jaw, you can click this here and hit G. And you can move the jaw. So it's, it's kind of a nice way to, to pick things. Um, down here, you can see this cluster here is for the arm. And this cluster is for the leg. And this is for the fingers. Right now, it's by default in IK mode. So if you click this circle here, that's the hand in IK mode. And you can hit G and move the hand around. Let's turn off this and move the hand around. So play with it, you know, check it out, see how it works. It's, it's, it's kind of makes things kind of nice. 
Let's uh, talk about the rig layers. So we just looked at the main rig layer. This is, this is the basic controls. Uh, this second layer here is the uh, detailed control. So you can do things like you can bend limbs or you can puff the cheeks out. So it's more, it's more like granular control. These three layers are the layers for the hair. So you've got front strands, middle strands, and the back strand. So the hair has, uh, I guess, three levels of control also. So if you want just simple, easy hair control, there's this sphere on the main hair layer. And just grab that and hit G and you can move all the hair together it's very simple, you know, you can sway the hair a bit. If you want some more detailed control, click one of these other rig layers and you'll see these pointy circles. So you can hit that and hit G and you can move a whole, oops, you can move a whole strand of hair like that. You can see the weights are kind of blending with the other bones, but you can move a whole section and if you want even finer detail or finer control, you can grab these individual bones here and hit G and you can, you know, kind of shape it even more. So you have as much or as little control as you want for the hair. Okay, let's put that back. So let's take a look at this pose library here. Make sure you have both these layers turned on and make sure you have no bones selected. So let's click off here. If you don't see this tab here, it might be closed. So you can hit N on the keyboard or click this arrow. And if you still don't see it, make sure you installed the pose library add-on that came with Blender that I covered in the beginning of this video. Make sure you don't have any bones selected or you can make sure you have all the bones selected. Either way will work and then click some of these poses and you can see the expressions change. There are a bunch of face expressions. There's a bunch of mouth poses. There's also a bunch of visimes here. We've got a CH shape and a E shape. There's also a bunch of hand poses. There's a left and right pose for each one. So uh, you can change to a fist or a peace sign or uh, different poses. There's also poses for the weapons. So if you move this up here, the weapon bones here are already parented to the main rig but the hand obviously is not gripping it. So to make the hand grip it, go to the um, right hand area of the pose library and pose library, hand, pistol, right. There we go. So now the hand is holding the pistol. Um, there also, so there's a bunch of hand poses. There's also body poses so you can Click a body pose and you'll see she's kind of on her knees here or standing with a gun like that. So you can you can check some of these things out. Let's put all this back. Alt G R S. Oh, I forgot to mention when you do the pose library, make sure you have all the bones, all the bone layers active because it also affects the hair. So if some of them like this one here, it also affects the hair positioning. So it looks good. Let's turn this off so we can see the clothing better. And let's hit N to hide that and make this a bit, a bit bigger. So you'll see in the outliner, let's close this guy here. We don't need that. Inside the groovy space girl, uh, collection. Inside the clothing collection, you'll see all of the different clothing pieces. So you can toggle those however you like. 
just by clicking this checkbox. So you can turn on the dress like that, and she's got a dress here. You can turn off the space sleeves. You can turn off the gloves. You can turn off the, these two layers are for the head, so it's head with visor. So you can turn that off, and you can turn on head no visor. Uh, it's kind of a weird name, but I named it that way because it's got all the parts for the head, including um, the hair, because the hair is different with and without a visor. But you just need to toggle off the main collection for the head, and you can switch it. Or you can switch off different parts like the earrings here, I don't know if you can see them. You can turn the earrings off or Turn the hairpin off or on. There are also a bunch of color options. So you can go to the shading workspace. And most of the parts of this character have color options available. And they're organized kind of similarly. So I'll, I'll talk about the basic logic for them, not this one. So here you can see there's a black box or a group that's labeled, it says colors. So more or less, this top row is going to be all the white colors and the bottom row will be all the dark gray colors. And it'll be like an orange. You can see what it looks like here. Then a pink, blue, red, and a green. And then the dark options are dark orange, pink, blue, red, and green. There's an RGB mixer, so you can choose between the light or the dark. And if you like the dark side, you can then choose, instead of orange, you can pick dark pink. So there's a bunch of color options like that. Um, hair, organized similarly. You've got uh, an RGB mixer to go from one texture to the other, and then you can pick these other colors to change it more drastically. Oh, it's really small, I can't see here, like that. This visor is a little bit different with its color options because I've organized some transparencies. So let's go here. So there's this box called opacity control. So this controls the opacity. So if you, let's see, up here, it's the um, hex, and down here, it's the uh, solid. So, if, and this chooses between the solid or the hex. So you can see if you drag this to the right, it goes down here, which is solid. Go to the left, and it's this hex pattern. If we have the hex pattern chosen, then you can drag this to make it solid or see-through. Or we can go for solid or see-through. In addition to that, we have all of the color options. So a bit of a mess, but if you go back over here, look for the color box. Then we have the same familiar controls. You can make it darker or lighter or pick white, orange, pink, red, green. So you can make this all uh, all customized to how you like it. Um, the helmet also has a f its own rig. So this little arrow here, you can retract the visor. So hit G and you can make it go up or down. And then these control the antenna. Make sure the pivot style is set to um, pivot around itself. So you go to four here or just choose bounding box center and then hit R, whoops, hit R twice, and then you can move the antenna around. Um, if you don't like that antenna style, it's kind of this kind of a pseudo 70s, 60s kind of look, you can do a more kind of a modern version. This is more of an anime look. So you can move either one. So there are a few options for the helmet. The rig has a bunch of advanced features, so you can see this by clicking on, say, the hand bone, hit N to bring up your tools, click on tools here, 
And if you don't see this, it's because you didn't install the um, AutoRig Pro Tools plugin. So make sure you get that installed. Then you'll see all these options. So it's pretty cool. You can click this here to change it from IK to FK. So right now it's in IK mode like that. If you switch it, it goes to FK mode where this doesn't move the whole arm. Instead, you have to click parts and hit R to rotate them individually. So there's each has their own uses. Um, you can um, you can do pinning, so you can pin the elbow down. So now when you move this, the elbow stays in place. It's kind of like if she's resting her hand on a table or something, that can be good. There's also, these are pretty cool too. So there's finger grasps. If you grab the hand, you can make the whole finger kind of curl in. That's kind of nice. So play with it, but there are a bunch of like nice extra features there. This model also has shape keys. So similar to the pose library where we had all these face expressions or hand expressions, this model also has shape keys to do the same thing. Um, you won't need this if you're only using Blender. However, if you're exporting this to the program, you can use the shape keys to get all the same expressions in another program. So like here, we got um, mouth open. You can do that. You can see the mouth opens, but the bones stay in place. Um, you'll notice that the mouth opens, but the teeth don't because you'd have to move the shape key for the mouth and the teeth, which is a bit of a pain, which is why if you want to export the body to another program, I made a whole separate set. So if you toggle this off, this body for Blender, and turn on body for export, this has the whole body merged together. And so if you go to like mouth open again, everything moves together. So it makes it a little bit easier. So if you're gonna be exporting to other programs, make sure you check out this body for export and see what's going on. That's it for this walkthrough. Hopefully it was enlightening. And if you buy or bought this model, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always here to answer questions. Thanks.